Welcome to the Magic Hours. I'm Zoe Flowers, and for those of you all that are familiar with my channel, welcome back. For those of you that are here for the first time, welcome, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. And so for those of you all that know me or don't know me, excuse me, I am an intuitive tarot reader, channeler. I work with the Palladians. I also work with the angelic realm. Why am I doing all these things with my hands? Let's just get into this retrograde reading. So Venus is going retrograde in Pluto, in the sign of Pluto. Don't come over here talking about Pluto is not a sign. I mean, it's a star or a planet or whatever. Like we're not, we're not trying to hear any negative talk on Pluto. Okay. So, um, Venus is going retrograde in Pluto on January 19th. It will be there until January 29th. Right. So this is also happening in the sign of Capricorn. So when we think about Venus, right, a planet of yes, people associated with love, but it's also associated with the good things, the good life, wealth, luxury, all those things that Venus inspired people actually really 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 like right or and have the tendency to maybe overindulge good food good wine all the good things going retrograde in pluto the god of the end world the place of the dead and the undead In the very practical and at the same time sexually irresponsible sign of Capricorn. In the Tarot, Capricorn is signified by the devil. I don't think right here. Right? Ruled by Saturn, the father of time, the planet of restriction, right? Capricorn can be a sign of punishment, right? We've got, we see the chains there, they're bound, right? It can be, you know, this represents substance abuse sometimes, illicit affairs. So when we think about Venus, first of all, going retrograde in the very complicated sign of Capricorn, on the one hand, very practical, again, as I said, on the other, and can be very punishing, Venus has us looking very intently at our relationships. Are our relationships fraught with issues? Are we continuously replaying dead things, things that we should have, that should have long died, that we should have let die? Are we creating Frankenstein-like relationships, you know, digging things up, putting them back together over and over and over and over again. This retrograde, if we're paying attention, will have us, and maybe even if we're not paying attention to it explicitly, looking at these things, right? Am I, are the things that I've bound myself to, are the things that I felt limited me, Am I ready to finally put those things to rest? Am I finally ready to bury those things, right? Venus, again, also rules wealth. Capricorn is about advancement. Am I putting my time, talent, and energy in the right place? Am I wasting my you know, I don't want to say waste. I, I, I'm thinking more about being on a hamster wheel, working so hard and still not getting the, the, the things that I desire. This retrograde will have us looking at all of that. And it's at the end of the year. So some of us are looking at those things anyway. But this retrograde will have us looking at these things even more intently. I would also say just be careful of where you trap when you're traveling. Um, women identified people um, in particular, male children um, with this kind of placement, right? Just, you know, just be careful of your surroundings. 
Um, if you're going on dates with people, I would say vet them heavily, research them heavily, just because I'm just thinking about Venus retrograde and a sign of, you know, what can be punishing around sex and things like that. So just thinking about, just be careful. Keep your eyes open and be careful. Okay. Um, watch the children. <laughs> so Gonna get a little lip, gonna um, get some ancestor guidance, and it's interesting too because when I think about also um, old memories in this time in this Venus retrograde, old lovers, resurfacing, maybe resurfacing one last time, right? So let's go ahead and get in this reading. So we're just going to do an overall message, an overall ancestor message for the retrograde. Okay, Spirit, can you give me the ancestor guidance for Venus retrograde and Pluto, please? Ancestor guidance, thank you. Ooh, 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 okay, wow. Change your attitude. Wow. Signifying personal reflection and transformation. It is a composition of two Adinkra symbols, the inner star, which represents a new day and the outer wheel, which implies moving forward. Exactly what we're talking about, right? Change your attitude. This retrograde will be a good time to change your attitude about love, about even all your relationships, not just romantic, your wealth. And it's something about, you know, this black and white imagery. I feel like, oh, maybe that's the Capricorn. Maybe that's the Saturnian, that Saturnian influence in me. I love black and white. This is like my aesthetic. But I feel like this is the very Venus retrograde and Pluto aesthetic, this black and white. I was like, I'm going to do this black and white today. Stuff was going on with the sun. I mean, we always love the sun, but there's a lot of shadow. So I was like, we're going to go black and white. And I think there's something about that for this for this retrograde too. just paring it down like just and at first I was like, oh, they're not going to see all the pretty colors. No, it's about the message, right? He who does not know a symbol of lifelong learning. And I've kept what I've heard signifies the act of hearing, understanding and taking into consideration what someone has said. Hmm. Wow, I got it. So we want to work on changing our attitudes because many of the things that were told to us in our youth were told by people who didn't know what they were talking about. Hmm. And we kept it. We took it. We took it as truth. We went into agreement with it now i understand why this acceptance this acceptance card was in the middle of my um astrology deck it didn't even go with that with that deck and i was like oh is this the theme is this the and spirit was like no this isn't the theme this isn't the theme of the retrograde and this isn't the focus this is like people gave you something Right. People come with all kinds of ideas about who we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to love, what love is supposed to look like. So many of us learn to love from people who didn't have a good understanding of that. Right. And we took it because we didn't have a choice. We accepted it. We accepted it as truth. Right. Especially. Wow. Look at that for right there for foundation. Mm -mm -mm. It was it was in our, you know, it's the foundation of our being. Right. The foundation of our being. Four is about foundation and numerology. And so to me, this is like we learned these things at very early ages. And it is at the core of our learning. It is the foundation of our being. We took what we heard. If we think about, when I think about the number four, I also think about a house, right? Four walls. We created... our life around these things that we were taught by people who didn't know any better. 
and the retrograde is giving us the opportunity and this is our ancestor guidance to move past that not yet what is the tarot card for the retrograde so this is the focus here what is the tarot card what is the focus what is the focus it's funny they want me to use this deviant moon too we have temperance in reverse this temperance card this deviant moon i almost feel like it's more beautiful in color than in black and white let me put it in color for a minute i mean it's fine in color Hard to even see in this light. But I love this pouring, this knowledge into this shell, this angelic ish figure with both sides of the moon as the face. You know, temperance is just that it's a balancing out. It's uh, taking one's time. There's a lot going on outside. I've been interrupted many times doing this video. Just let that pass. So there might be An impatience. Why am I still dealing with these people? Why am I still dealing with these issues? So what needs to be embraced with this temperance in reverse? What needs to be Look at that. The cold, just like I said, the black and white, the cold temperament of the Capricorn. What can I use? What's going to get me to the next level? What's working? What needs to be embraced? The practicality of the Capricorn. What needs to be released? What needs to be released? Spirit, what needs to be released during this retrograde? The way things have always been done. So that's it. Period. Period. The way things have always been done. That's what we're releasing. And we're embracing a new practicality. A new calmness a new coldness. I don't have to visit this before Tarot, but we will. We'll just visit it. What things have happened before? What things may have happened before? What things for the collective, for the eyes that are on this video? What may have happened before? Thank you. That's nuts. Okay, this is so interesting because when I ask what has happened, what may have happened before, I got the fool, but in a different way. It's so interesting. Um, so I'm using the before tarot. I may or may not be able to find it here. The before tarot 
are the things that happened just before ah the images that we are used to so used to seeing excuse me in the traditional tarot right so in the traditional tarot i wish i had the fool here um in the traditional tarot the fool is already here right he's already stepping over he's already stepping over the cliff the dog is giving him you know by the time we see him he's already over the cliff right he's his he's happily over the cliff right he's here in the traditional there he goes right but in the before he got the warning from the dog, right? A little bit of a glare here. Sorry, folks. Come on, autofocus. There we go, right? He got the warning. And so remember I asked what happened before? So I got two cards for what happened before. Oh, so what I was saying is at first, when the cards first fell and I asked what happened before, I got the fool, the traditional fool in reverse, but it wasn't, it didn't really fall. It was just there. So when I actually shuffle and the fool comes out again is nuts because he was in reverse, right? When it, when it was just laying there, but this is the actual reading right here. So what happened before for the collective, for those of us that are, you know, watching this video, this is meant for you, right? This is meant for us. Maybe we got warnings. Maybe we got warnings that, you know, these things were dead. It's time to let these things go. And why do I say that? Because what also fell out was the judgment in the before. Right? Just before. So some people read this as an ancestor card. I, I'm going to start doing that too. So I like that too. So maybe you're getting like the warning, quote unquote, or the message before from your ancestors, from your spirit guides that, hey, these undead things are haunting you or these dead things are haunt are haunting you right but in any case whatever we choose here the message is i started this conversation talking about the dead and the undead and my goodness here are those things those ghosts of old relationships those ghosts of old situations those ghosts of old mindsets that are very much in coffin and we have the opportunity to bury them that is what i have for the collective Drop down in the comments and let you know, let me know what you think about this reading. This is all very exciting to me, but I want to hear from you. Like, share, and subscribe. If you go to my Instagram channel, I also have different herbs and things like that and different guidance to help you get through this Venus retrograde. So my magic channel is the, my magic channel, my magic channel, my Instagram channel is the magic hours. And I will put the link in this, uh, in the body of the YouTube so that you can, you know, collect some of these things and perhaps have an easier time as you are revisiting your relationships, your wealth, and again, all of the things that Venus rules, right? And I'll see you next time.